Beth Ann Ricketts goes missing from Des Moines, Iowa, three days before Christmas in December of 1997. The 31-year-old mother is last seen leaving the home she shares with her children. She is going to have breakfast with her fiancé. She then had plans to go Christmas shopping, but she never returns. That afternoon, there was a fire at Beth Ann's apartment, and her bedroom is destroyed. Her fiancé claims that the last time he saw her, she was alive and well, and said she just wanted to be on her own for a while. Police assume Beth is dead, but her daughter is still looking for answers about what happened to her mother. If there was a fire in her bedroom, but her remains were not found in this fire, it sounds as though someone was trying to destroy evidence, maybe blood or something like that, that was maybe left behind on the bed or the floor or the, even the walls. Maybe they intended to burn down the entire apartment. Um, Beth Ann was a white female, age 31. She was 5 foot 8 and 120 pounds. She was last seen wearing a white shirt, a black leather blazer, black pants, and a zebra print belt. She was carrying a medium-sized black purse. She has blonde hair and blue eyes. She was last seen driving a 1994 gold Geo Prism. At around 2.10 p.m. on December the 22nd, 1997, a fire broke out at her duplex and caused $7,500 worth of damage to one bedroom. Firefighters were unable to determine the cause of the fire, and investigators aren't sure if it was even related to her disappearance. Ricketts' boyfriend said that on December the 24th, a woman claiming to be Ricketts called him on his cell phone and said that she was fine and for everyone to leave her alone and she didn't want to be found. However, she never resurfaced. On January the 7th, she was listed as a missing person. Her boyfriend refused to cooperate with the investigation and hired an attorney. She was a military veteran and lived in Oklahoma City prior to moving to Des Moines. She left behind three children. Authorities believe she may have been taken against her will. Ricketts disappeared after she went to purchase Christmas presents for her kids and bought a new dress to wear for New Year's Eve. She never got to wrap the presents or wear the new dress. Now, do they have proof that she actually went shopping um, did anyone in any of the local stores say that she came in? Do they have any kind of credit card a tra trail or purchases to show that she did go shopping? When Ricketts hadn't returned home by the following day, friends who were caring for her children reported her missing. All three television networks in Des Moines ran a story about Ricketts' disappearance. At 7.30 p.m. shortly after the story aired, Ricketts' boyfriend, William Halterman, called police and told them Ricketts was not missing. He said that she had contacted him and said that she did not want to be found, that she was with friends. His allegations didn't make any sense since she loved her children and had been looking forward to spending Christmas with them. The number... The Des Moines Register published a story on Christmas Day about her disappearance. Halterman got a lawyer and quit talking to police. They reached out to him to ask for help, and he would no longer respond to their phone calls. Um, despite his report to police that she was alive and did not want to be contacted, a missing persons report was started on January the 7th, 1998. Police said that Halterman declined to talk to them and had hired an attorney. Now, the police who was in the, the police officer, uh, Lieutenant Randy Dawson, who was put in charge of the case, said he believes that she has been murdered. I do too. I believe that she was murdered in her home and that the fire was set as a way to try to destroy evidence. Um, 
Um, Ricketts has not spoken with friends or relatives, nor tried to contact her children. Her close friends spoke to the police and said, I think she's dead. I don't know how or anything like that, but I know that she would never go that far away from her kids or go that long without talking to them. Though her body has never been recovered, the Des Moines Police Department classifies her case as a homicide. Uh, if anyone has any information on her disappearance, they can contact the Des Moines Police Department at 515-283-4811. The last update that I found on Beth Ann Ricketts was from 2023. There was a post about her on America's Most Wanted and the Iowa Code Cases. She is not listed as a missing person because they have considered her case to be a homicide, even though that no, you know, no remains of her have ever been found. It's very possible that her body could have been burned up in that fire and removed. But I, I kind of doubt that. I think that... The fire was set after the fact to conceal evidence, to burn evidence, and I believe that her, I believe she died that day, and um, her boyfriend got a lawyer and refused to talk, and he was never charged with anything as far as I could find. I couldn't find anything about him ever having been charged or anyone else, and as of today, the case it today makes 26 years since she went missing and um, she's, she's been listed as a homicide. Thanks for watching.